Because they tell me to go back Everybody telling me to go Everybody telling me to go Everybody telling me to go Hini Radio Jambo, karibu sana kwenye kipindi kama ndio nasha radio sasa hivi na sema asante sana. Uh, Satano na dakika kumi na moja, mina ito masawe japani na... Uh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Kama alivyosema hapo awali leo ilikuwa ina kuwa mapema mgeni wangu wa leo uh, ali, ali, ni sema tu alikuwa <laughs> maana ni kitu cha kupita na aibu mgombea rais roots party as you can see naona ni nini ule cha watu wenu <laughs> mimi bado na wakilisha I was respecting the, I was respecting your party wona <laughs> represent lakini stock ilikuwa sawa <laughs> on the light road. <laughs> yes. What do you mean stock ilikuliwa? <laughs> stock ilikuliwa kwa sababu yeah. watu wa eh, party leader alianza ku support Azimio. Okay. Sasa unaona stock ikaribika. Okay. Mm. That is where you guys fell out. Yes. Yes. Immediately actually before Takura zi tangazo rasmi. Mm. Yeah? Ndio. Okay. Yes. Kwa, lakini mlikuwa wapi? Maana during during campaigns tuliweza kumuona uh, your party leader wajakoya akisema kwamba uh, even if he doesn't even if you don't vote for me mm-hmm. you can vote for Raila Odinga mm-hmm. at the time. Yes. Yeah, so I think he's been consistent. Alianza hivyo Kisumu and okay. I was present. Mm-hmm. In fact when you aliniona hiyo siku mara ya kwanza tulikuwa tumepark gari parallel. Yes. Kusikia vote for Raila Nilishtuka nikamwangalia because si kujua atasema hivyo. Okay. Awe tuliongea akasema pana conditions and ukweli angepiga Raila Molo Dinga Kisumu. Uh-huh. So nikaelewa this is politics. Okay. And then atungezoea kura 100%. Uh-huh. Obviously so tulijua zile kidogo tutapata. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. But he went on kusema na kusema and then tukakuwa branded project. Okay. So I remember hata tukiwa hapa uh-huh. tulipoa t-shirts na kina mbuzi. Yeah. Kenyans had printed because wa Kenya alikuwa ametuamini kabisa mm, mm-hmm. but the tag project iliharibu kila kitu okay ndio okay mm. so um did you guys have a discussion menelewa mm-hmm. na kusema kwamba if if it doesn't go our way tutakuwa kwa mrengo ga upi mulelewana pengine hiyo discussion tulikuwa tumeongea nikienda interview ya running mate okay. ni hiyo time kulikuwa 55 presidential aspirants uh-huh. na nikauliza end game ni nini uh-huh. nikaambia end game ni uh-huh. kurun mpaka mwisho uh-huh. mungu akatujalia tukapitishwa uh-huh. na ABC uh-huh. tukakuwa candidate uh-huh. kwa hivyo there was no discussion tuta support mtu uh-huh. ilikuwa tupushi agenda uh-huh. sababu wa Kenya alikuwa amechoka na bad leadership uh-huh. Uh-huh. na mimi nilikuwa nasema mungu amesikia kilio cha wa Kenya justina did you believe that you guys were gonna win imagine i did the 8 million who didn't vote for us hizo ndo zilikuwa kura zetu hizo ndo zilikuwa kura zetu yani vigogo hapa walikuwa kwa ni Ruto na Raila na zile 8 million hawakupata yes. zilikuwa za Roots party okay mm. okay tingisha muti muli tusumbua by the way nani alikuja na hiyo slogan ah imekuwa for a while okay. imekuwa for a while mm. hata nikaenda kwa chama ilikuwa mm-hmm but the rationale was shaking the status quo okay. to badilisha mawazo mm-hmm. vile tunaonanga vitu mm-hmm. 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 okay yes. so when wajakoya where did you guys meet na ilianzaje <laughs> unaona mimi kuna time 2017 yes. mm-hmm. wada ogota alikuwa kwa tv na ongea about marijuana mm-hmm. na ile lit kenno cough yeah. sasa ikaja nikona application nikona advert ad- advert yes ya wanatafuta running me truth mm-hmm. party yeah. na kuangalia youtube nikona yeye anazungumzia bado maneno ya bangi mm-hmm. kikumbuka wawili venye alikuwa amesema mm-hmm. kona this is e conversation in a group mm-hmm. if na political party mm-hmm. inasimamia hii and mm-hmm. they want a running meet nikatuma CV yangu mm-hmm. CV na ilikuwa ile ya 2018 ya PS position na nikaenda interview mm-hmm. kwa hivyo ilikuwa meet up ilikuwa very professional because mm-hmm. I, 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 i did respond to an advert that was the first time nilimuona in person okay. but nikaona kwenye social media mm-hmm. aki advocate bangi okay mm. do you believe in marijuana I, i do okay in fact now the, the conversation VP as leisure medicinal do you use commercial? it no i don't okay commercial kwa sababu if you look at uh, marijuana iko na species mbili kuna ile watu wanavuta hiyo ya recreational mm-hmm. inaitwa cannabis sativa mm-hmm. lakini huyu kazi mwingine anaitwa cannabis cannabis ama industrial hemp 
na ni mrefu karibu akuwe kama mti because okay. ina produce in hemp okay fiber uh -huh. kwa hivyo mimi na believe na hiyo cannabis cannabis as but industrial hemp unajua you see you understand lakini mtu kama mimi siwezi hata elewa difference mm. nikiambiwa hii ni ile wajakoya nitajua <laughs> sasa hapo ndio tunge, tungefanya yeah. a lot of sensitization kwa watu wetu uh -huh. na tuambie kama wale wako kwa pan paper uh -huh. education system yetu tukiwa dogo tukiwa tunaulizwa where is paper made tukiwa class 4 gts unaambiwa webuye pan paper Uh -huh. but sahi kuna logging law hauwezi kata mti utengeneze karatasi so that is where pan paper imekufa but hii industrial hemp inaweza tengeneza mpaka makaratasi so tunaweza spa apata economy ile ya huko uko webuye because we want to look Kenya yendele in terms of export tuacha ku import maka printing papers kila kitu tuanze kujitegemea na rasili mali zetu which we have okay yes uh, uh, sijui kama mweza kufuatilia kwa karibu but i remember those a, an article mm. that i once read mm. kwamba vijana wengi wanapotoka uh, rather wanapotoshwa mm. um, na utumiaji wa banki mm. sawa eh mm. na wanajua wewe ni mama familia na una watoto una mtoto mmoja mm. uh, rather mm. so i, I, I don't no yani manake kulikuwa kuna wave mm. you know and and the youths walikuwa wametoka you know mm. eh hey, wajakoya because of marijuana hawako mm. naelewa uh, exactly what he meant and three quarters of the time most people don't even understand mm. eh manifesto mm. sawa eh mm. ulikuwa kwa uoni kidogo um, ina kudidimishia um mtatumia um, neno gani hapa considering your family woman mm. yeah actually ilifanya mpaka nikakosana na wazazi wangu you see unaona kama baba anaimba kwa haya na mama ji unaona kwa kanisa <laughs> what? wazazi wangu wako nimelelewa kwa christian family okay so hiyo time kama ningesikiza wazazi wangu sing, hata singekubali ku run for ku kwa running meet mm. lakini nikaangalia hapa kuna vision mm -hmm. na that is why hata debate nilijaribu sana kuongelesha wa Kenya mm -hmm. hata nili attend ndio wa Kenya wanielewe because walikuwa sema unaweza fry wa mboi wako akivuta bangi mm. na nikamwambia it is not for consumption mi sasa nadhani party leader alikuwa me introduce conversation alikuwa anasema tutakuwa tunavuta ba bangi mm -hmm. but when niliingia sasa nikamwambia you know, the softer side of a woman ambaye yeah. hii sasa itatusaidia mm. wacha to focus on the commercial aspect of it so hata vijana tukienda ground walikuwa natufanyanga hivi ati hey, bangi bangi i remember lakini mimi na insistia kuvuta na wakaanza kuelewa anasema ni ya economic uh, you know economic mm. activities okay. walienda wakielewa kidogo kidogo but atuwezi advocate kuvuta ingawaje so, so eh, ni kurudisha nyuma kidogo mm. samani mm. so wazazi wako hata wakupigia kura ah, walinipigia baadaye <laughs> baadaye walinipigia <laughs> kura yao si yao <laughs> labda lakini kama wako amini na manifesto why will they give you your, their votes unaona police station <laughs> i vote mali wazazi wangu vote okay. hapo siki mau okay. wao hapo eh, eh. tulizoa kura 300 unajua <laughs> including wale watu wanaenda kanisa na my parents uh -huh. wazazi wangu my relatives around hapo okay. kwa hivyo 300 votes zilikuwa mingi kuliko hata za party leader 42 <laughs> so i believe walipiga kura walipiga but walielewa lakini we just sina ni mbaya umesema hata hata mwenye chama mwenyewe hakuweza kuwa na ushawishi wa kutosha katika constituency yake labda unajua pia generations wasa pia generation unajua labda upande wake ni rural setting ah okay alikuwa na vote koyonzo iko kakamega in the galaxy eh lakini inaitwa koyonzo okay sasa unaona kama alikuwa na vote uko na ni rural setting mimi nilikuwa na vote sio kimobo hall mavoko unaona bado ni town setting so i believe what boys wamekuelewa hata wazazi watu wachache walielewa kabisa okay okay Are you guys talking? Mnazungumza. Mara mwisho mmezungumza na party leader wa Jakoya ni lini? Tulipokuwa bomas. President elect akitangazwa. Eh? That is why alieka barua on social media. Hiyo <laughs> ndio mara mwisho mliketi pamoja? Yes. Tulikuwa tumeketi pamoja. Mko tu sawa. Tu, tulikuwa sawa hiyo time. Okay. Yes. So eh, ni wapi cracks zikaingia? alipo nitumie hiyo barua mm -hmm. but alisema nilikuwa nina kwa, kwa msikilizaji ambaye pengine mm -hmm. jaona hiyo barua Ndiyo. ilikuwa inasemaje barua kwa ufupi ilikuwa inasema ya kwamba nilimpa pongezi president elect na yeye alikuwa anataka kwenda kotini na pia akasema nimekuwa nikimisrepresent chama lakini mimi nakumbuka nilikuwa nimejitetea nikasema yeye ndo alimcongratulate president elect wa kwanza day one 
ama hawa ah, one mimi congratulate four days later kwa hivyo mm. mimi sikuona kama kuna makosa mm -hmm. na pia ku represent ku misrepresent chama mm -hmm. niliulizwa nyinyi mbona mnaona mkozo wa kura nyingi nikasema kwa sababu walikuwa na supporters hiyo tukaitwa project na pia tu kuweza kutafuta agents in the 46229 polling station unajua na tuko na agents atakuwa na all okay. all polling stations atuku manage ni nini ni pesa chama iko nayo chama iko ilikuwa chini kipesa okay e, amkupata wafadhili wa kutosha hawakuja unajua tulipoitwa project <laughs> project jina project iliaribu sana yeah. maneno mengi yeah. mm. okay but it's not personal so this letter yes ulipata kwenye social media ama was he decent enough to actually address you first before uyoni kwenye social media ah mimi niliona tu hata ni rafiki yangu alinipiga ti you have been summoned nae nikashanga so unajua alafu ilikuwa twitter kila mtu akaona <laughs> labda <laughs> ilikuwa twitter so but what i can say this is politics Mimi hata sina anything against him personally. Shida yetu ilikuwa on principle. Na pia unajua the moment masawa you know people who you are with watu wanaishi nao. Mm -hmm. Na unajua huyu ananipenda lakini train ikakuja na inabidi arushe mtu akajangwe na train. Kwa hivyo hiyo ndio wendo, wendo, wendo anatingisha. Eh, so hizo <laughs> ndio vitu unaangalia. Okay. People work together mm -hmm. na kuna vinyo unajua kuishi na watu. But unajua anga huyu anitaki mazuri. So I'd seen it coming for a while. Before you joined ama wakati sasa unafanya naye kazi tulipoanza kufanya kazi yeah. kulianza kuwa na tetesi behind the back at i'm trying to outshine him mimi nakumbuka na nikauliza mbona hajaniita mimi mwenyewe aniambie if i na feel hivyo but in my mind i kukua anything about outshining ilikuwa win win remember uh, marijuana ni contentious so we had a, i had kujitetea kama mwanamke na kama mama na yeah. wife yeah sasa na yeye pia alikuwa na direction yake. So I don't see where nili remote shine. Okay. But mimi naweza sema for my intention ilikuwa tushinde. Okay. Yes. Looking back mm. kwa manifesto, you as Justina, mm -hmm. what did you bring to the table? I brought in the aspect of CBD and THC. Yeye alikuwa anasema vuta bangi, mimi mm. nikaleta commercial. Mm -hmm. I brought in the aspect of snake farming and mm -hmm. anti venom. Snake ilikuwa ni project yes, yako. Yes, it was mine and snake ilipushiwa na my uncle. In fact the first time aliongea about snake farming ilikuwa JKL. One of my uncles who owns Afrosayari on Eastern Bypass has a very big land. So akasema tisimkuje hata muone what we do. Akasema na hapa mimi vision yangu ina kuanga snake farming. Then tukamza how can it work? Unajua watu walikuwa wanachangia hiyo time. Yeah. Like, uh, everything hata tulisema JKL is re research ya my uncle Mr. Gitundu. Okay. So snake farming because that I love pet kwa na hiyo bee farming and also women. Women na youth walikuwa wanauliza how do we benefit? Na nilisema during debate that in every county 200,000 acres to allocate women youth tufanye ile mradi kama yali ile ya ya Obama ile kwa KU. Mm -hmm. Tunachukua youth every four months tunachukua 50,000 youth in in a county of kuna 200,000 acres kwa hivyo mm -hmm. kila youth apate 4 acres apande industrial hemp mm -hmm. so that is what i brought on the table mm -hmm. yes okay mm -hmm. so please help me understand because i also did not really understand mm -hmm. snake farming alafu uh, uh, venom uliko mnauza wapi ati unaona kenya tu mm -hmm. important venom kutoka south africa okay. na india okay na ukiumwa na nye, one vial mm. of anti venom yeah. is 13500 okay. in Kenya. Mm -hmm. Ukiumwa na nyoka you need between 5 to 10 vials mm -hmm. ndio upone. Okay. Hiyo ni hiyo ina mean 135000 okay. because ina importiwa. Yes. Na masayo kumbuke eh, snakes in the world are 3000 over 3000 species. Mm -hmm. Kwa hivyo ile anti venom inatoka South Africa na India si necessarily hiyo nyoka iko Kenya. Okay. So unaweza dungu anti venom but ukufe joija haikuambatana na hiyo snake. No, yes. So tulikuwa tunataka hiyo anti venom 1 yes wa itengenezewa pa Kenya yes. ya zile nyoka zetu mm -hmm. first to reduce cost the anti venom in Kenya okay. to save lives ya the three people who die weekly from snake bites mm -hmm. number two, globally the leaders wanauza wenye nauza hii anti venom ni South Africa na India so kuna opportunity ya kuweza ku export ku export okay na tukiangalia uh, government iko na mradi inaitwa APR wa kwa Pangong Road mm -hmm. it's a research thing wanafanya but si tukua nataka ikuwe large scale mm -hmm. ati hata Kenya wanafuga nyoka through the guidance of KWS which is a law iko in place hiyo anti venom iki harvestiwa tunaitumia locally yetu na tunauza hizo zingine hiyo demand hiyo extra tunauza yeah. nje okay. kwa hivyo kuko na market 
Ato kangeleta bee farming. That is something else. Kuna watu watu ananembeti. Na mwona mko ngelea bee venom ama bee antivenom. Ok. Ii inatengeneza, ineza kwa antivenom ukiu stingiwa na bee. Mm -hmm. Ama inatengeneza nga dawa za rheumatoids. So our idea was, mtu amesoma biochem chemical engineer hizo vitu si zina zinasoma pa technical Makes sense actually know that you're explaining yeah yeah yes yeah so we'll create employment so, at our wa biochem mm. wa, wa kwena uh, employment yao as mm. opposed to just being people who work in a chemist okay yes so other than the snake uh, production mm -hmm. eh nini tena kulikuwa na yeye alikuwa ameleta hiyo idea ya parts hayana parts <laughs> <laughs> And by the way, yo, thank you to Koko Radio. <laughs> Tuseme tu haiena parts. Yes, hatu tazama mingi. Kuna mtoto wako nyumbali ya naeza kwa kisikia. Ndiyo hizo vitu. Sasa unambia babako vipi? Kisema vile party leader nataka testicles yuzwe. Unachua watu alenza kusema tini mingia devo worship. Aki. Really? Yes. Do you know? Masawe my parents ya wendangi church. Walisema mbaka siyasa yishe. Jua leona wanakosana na watu. Mtu angenda church a comment, mzazi wangu alikuwa anakasirika. Jua naona mtoto wake anaongelelewa. Okay. So it has affected me in terms of that mzazi wangu wamekuwa me carry the burden. Na hizi hyenas mlikuwa mzipate vipi? Fisi unampataaje kwanza? Aya, mara nyingi kama palimuru, unasikia yes. fisi anatoka kwa msituni anakuja kuterrorize mm -hmm. mtu kwa boma. Yeah. Imagine ika hiyo fisi kapata mtoto hapo nje tumemweka ati anaota jua. Mm -hmm. Na the reason how a fisi wanatoka kwa msituni wanakuja kwa watu is mm -hmm. because they are not strong enough kupigana na hawa fisi wengine mm -hmm. strong. Mm -hmm. So anakuja kula mali ya the, the public. Lakini mimi venye alisema hivyo nilishtuka. Jua Edino atasema hivyo. Yaani wewe ulikuwa unashtuliwa vile wananchi wanashtuliwa. <laughs> Hata hiyo 200 million alikuwa na at offered in public. <laughs> 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 yes, <laughs> but ukiangalia South Africa pia kuna wakati ndovu zao mm. zilikuwa zinatoka msituni zinakuja kupigana na human animal conflict. Yeah. The weak ones ndio by the way hukuja the strong ones inaweza kula msituni. Wakaamua kulikuwa na process inaitwa culling. Wakazikali hizi week ziacha kuja zinauliwa na raia na zina economic value. Wakizikali wanauza hizo ndovu. So pia si tumesema zile zenye zinakuja kwa human zikuwe cult. Somalia, Morocco na Saudi Arabia ukula nyama za fisi. Mm -hmm. Alafu China inatumia parts na bones for traditional medicine. Kwa hivyo kulikuwa na hiyo market. It wasn't a bad idea after all. Lakini sinikinyume na shiria za wanyamapori. Lakini unuana the more yani tu sema tu kweli because kuna kitu tunajivunia hapa nchini Kenya mm -hmm. wildlife tourism yes thank you yes so aenge kuwa ni kinyume na sheria cha wanyama pori tungefanya trade off kwa sababu na zile zinatoka na zinauliwa na raia na ni nani au mko unataka upatie kazi ya kuwa fisi <laughs> Hiyo <laughs> idea mimi naweza sema hiyo siezi hiyo nilijaribu huwa I can kuitetea baby he had a vision behind it okay. but mimi nilitetea sana na hiyo calling process okay. yes unasema hapo ndio opec hapo ndio opec for you hapo <laughs> so, ndio kwa kweli ukuamini kwa vitu vyote ama vilikuwa katika manifesto ya your party leader wajakoya Neza sema niliamini kwanza marijuana because akina guardo got na keno kot alikuwa me push mm -hmm. but being there was a good experience. You know, you end up learning, you end up research. Okay. You end up Kenyans. Ukisikia something new, una research, una learn, una gain knowledge from okay, it. Okay, okay. Eh. Do you regret uh, being his running no, mate? No, I don't. In fact, it was a very good experience. Mm -hmm. Mi ni mekwa nikitaka kukua kwa public service for a while. Mm -hmm. 2017, I ran for Mavoko. 2018, I applied for PS. So, it, it has, it mekwa journey. Okay. So, I don't regret, regret. Okay. Ni lessons too. Okay. Yes. Before joining politics, unko nafanya kazi gani? Mi nilikuwa tu, tu nilijoin 2017. Mm -hmm. I, I did a lot of internship free and paid. Alafu nikaangukia contract. Nasemanga ile internet nilifa, mali nilikuwa internship mm -hmm. ndiyo nili apply na yo British Council. Okay. I worked there for like six months. Mm -hmm. But at least salary likuwa mzuri, nikalipa master's degree. Okay. Then I was just in business na jaribuizi agpo za okay. youth. Mm -hmm. And then say niko into building an building supply of building materials and excavation. Okay. Mimi ndiko na mume wangu. Okay. Lakini hata nikiomba kazi unajua unafuata your passion what you true, love. True. Yes. True. Mm. So um are you full in politics? Sasa hivi uko kabisa umejitoso kwa siasa. For now yes. Okay. Hata sakangi okay. simu za watu wa Maluri. Sasa hivi niko kwa siasa. <laughs> Sasa hivi niko politics. Okay. Mm. Just, just in a tuseme sasa hivi uh if you have to choose your next party leader, what are the qualities you'll be looking for? 
someone who believes in their own ideology because yes we had marijuana but alianza kusema patia rela molo dinga kwa hivyo it means alikuwa ana believe in rela molo dinga kuliko ku yeye mwenyewe mm. so someone who fast anajiamini na yuko willing to change at because of external forces i don't know whether kulikuja external forces sijui mm-hmm. but someone who believes in their own agenda okay mm. Kipindi hiki baada ya kuweka post yako na nikasema tu kwamba nikatiz nikasema kwamba nitakuwa na wewe siku ya leo nikaweka nikasema ulizeni maswali. Uh, nikiangalia when I was going through the messages messages wengi walikuwa nasema kwamba alianza vizuri in fact congratulations you did really well wakati wa uh, um, the debate. However watu nasema lakini mbona anachoma? umenelewa eh mm. yeah mm. why is she fighting in public mm. na party leader wake mm-hmm. hiyo ni swali ambalo lilikuja sana mm-hmm. wengi wakisema kwamba unajipendekeza mm-hmm. kwa the next government of the day mm. wacha nijibu niseme hiyo ni good feedback lakini i'm not the one who took i maneno in public my party leader ndo alianza hiyo maneno beef hata kuniekea leta in public yeye ndo alikuwa anataka hivyo because ukitumiwa email you respond as an email ukitumiwa twitter post una respond kama twitter so one yeye ndo alinieka hapo number two, inaweza semekana najipendekeza kawaida mtu angekuambia couldn't you be a, the bigger person and not respond through the platform okay but you know in politics impressions matter nikionekana nimenyamaza uh-huh. the constituency represent women and youth uh-huh. wataona nimenyamaza because nimepewa gari na nyumba which is a lie yeah. so i didn't want to be intimidated okay yes okay number two, uh-huh. mm, in, okay it can look najipendekeza lakini me i'm looking for a job the reason we ran for this thing kama tungeshinda angekuwa president na ningekuwa deputy president uh-huh. na tungefanya kazi tungefanya kazi tungefanya kazi challenge ilianza kukua azimio uh-huh. but mimi nataka kuambia wa Kenya women we have to work 10 times more. Ukiangalia kitui walikuwa na governor 2017 female governor yeah. and five elected MCAs. This time only one female MCA amerudishwa. Mm-hmm. What na ku independent? What does that, that what does that mean? Men have the leeway to make all the mistakes but women are not given a second chance. Mm. So for me naweza sema in as much as najipendekeza pia alikuwa anajipendekeza kwa azimio. Si alisema wako na 6 million votes. <laughs> <laughs> but I, there's one thing I like about you. Mm. Yaani hakuna kuficha and I'm reading your tweet currently. Mm. Ukisema thank you Mr. President William Ruto and Rigathi Gashagwa. Mm. The Bible says mm-hmm. speak the truth my truth is I'm asking for a job. Mm. I am ready to serve. Mm. Naweza sema hiyo in the backdrop the video that was there alikuwa ametushukuru mm-hmm. Mwaure na Ruth, Wajakoya na Justina na Martha Karua na mm-hmm. Raila Molo Odinga. Yeah. Mimi nikasema asanti kwa kunirecognize. Mm-hmm. Naomba kazi. And remember before that what walikuwa wamesema Uh, my party leader my former party leader alikuwa amesema yeye yeah, anajua ako opposition mm. kwa hivyo him is it okay for a man kusema ile kitu anataka but it's wrong for a woman i think kenyans tunataka we need to stop seeing at women leadership nini tuone kila mtu ni leader na kila mtu akona vision zake okay mm. so jan september 5th ni kwa lini juzi monday okay mm. lakini pia ni mchokozi unilivaya <laughs> 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 ni tweet inaanza na hivi eh? despite cups intimidation and threats alafu unacheka sana kuna emojis ka 50 uko unacheka woi media imeenda kwa important persons akimfanya yeah? vibaya media uh-huh. <laughs> at 6 million wapi ruth ilipata 61969 hizo ndo zilikuwa kura zetu but ni confirmation alikuwa project pia yeye alikuwa anatafuta kazi isipokuwa bet imeungua kabisa <laughs> that is the truth unajua mimi one thing i've learned eh? ilikuwa kweli si alisema yeye ako na 6 million votes. was this necessary dear really was this unnecessary tweet It was necessary but it served the purpose which was to show Kenyans that he was the project I was not. And let me tell you Masa- Masawe it is not wrong hata tunge kwa project haina shida mm. but Bible inasema almost 33 inasema you have to move in agreement. So na tulikuwa tumekuja hapo pamoja mm. angeniambia ah wacha tuingie azimio aenge kwa shida. So you see yeah aliachwa ki pull side azimio mimi na pull side ya roots party. Mm-hmm. I wish ange kalisha chini which is not his thing. Hata mm. ukiona alisema I don't have a secretariat everything is in his mind mm. and I respect him. So but mm. I wish going akai pata running mate mwingine yeah. it's politics change. Yeah. Ange angekuja niambia Justin I something as ama hii pesa imekuja 
is this is politics but me i stuck to roots party agenda and i respect our 61000 by the way wali on do ali tuamini kabisa despite kuitwa project despite everything they had a say in their own way through voting but i wish ange kwa more open and external factors me don't know what was pushing him into azimio but afadhali ange kwa too open and mm. and so we we'll have pulled in the same direction instead of here kukana and peleka azimio mm. and then me nakani kama i don't know what i'm doing mm. Mm. okay kama ndo nasha dio sasa hivi niko naye Justina Wamai ambaye alikuwa naibu mgombea rais katika chama cha Roots Party uh, chama ambacho kinara wake alikuwa ni Wajakoya so na swali kwake eh na mbona una smile nikitaja Wajakoya mimi ana na smile jina ile ile simu inakuja kuingia hapa you take him as a joke no 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 by the way you know it's good to say positive things yeah he had a vision for this country yeah. a very good vision yes i really pray i really hope he did not support azimio we would have gone for me that was the ch- that is why nilikasirika mm. but alikuwa na vision and i believe hata in future atakuwa na vision so amesema atakuwa opposition na hiyo 6 million so let's see how <laughs> let's see 6 how 6 million in the head <laughs> yeah yeye ndo alisema hivyo so me i'm hoping hata opposition ile government inakuja yeah. the opposition will be very strong which no. which you believe is not of course wajakoya but alisa mwaka kwa na 6 million <laughs> so ai a a una swali kwa Justine wa Mwai sema nami 22494 iko na mbari yangu sms 02044459575 na kupatia fursa sasa hivi ya kuweza kusema naye moja kwa moja hii ni radio jambo mimi naitwa Masawe Japan ikiwa imesalia dakika 25 itimu saa 6 mchana pindi ikiwa imesalia dakika 17 timu saa 6 mchana mimi naitwa Masawe Japani na kama nilivyosema kwa awali leo sasa hivi tuko naye naibu aliyekuwa samani naibu mgombeo rais uh, kupitia chama cha Roots Party Justina Wamai uh, leo kwenye kipindi uh, Justina yes. if i give you a chance sasa hivi ya kuweza kumdescribe uh, your party leader Wajokoya how would you describe him only the positive na siongea ati juu nataka you know, people can say ati nataka ku kiss you know what yeah. but he, he had a, he had a vision for this country i believe in politics people make one wrong mistake in our cost but um alikuwa na vision his visionary na alikuwa ameona mbele this ideas kuko ameishi nje his uh, inaitwa exposure exposure huko nje yeah. alione hizo ideas zinaweza saidia wa Kenya so mm-hmm. he's visionary yeah. yes in all fairness okay mm. Kwa kwa mwanadamu akosi mapungufu yake. Mm. Kipindi hiki mapungufu ya party roots wako ilikuwa ni yapi? Wacha acha eh mwenye it's only fair jiongelele. Okay. But I wish ange appreciate uh, effort ya watu. In fact niliona jana tweet mtu ana complain hajamlipa pesa na alikuwa amemwasha alikuwa mempromise. Mhm. Hiyo subject to their own discussion. But mimi niseme iko hiyo chama appreciating presence ya mtu support at a financial support you know uh-huh, uh-huh. my husband has been has really supported na mimi tukienda hiyo chama tatu nikienda interview i made some mingi na tuna financial backing uh-huh, uh-huh. and then usually in politics watu wana supporting the party the when you kwanga any candidate presidential candidate yeye ndo alikuwa anapata maybe sponsorship okay. but for me nilimwambia the truth atuna so the little we had my husband had really supported me were you getting paid no I wasn't paid it okay. was out of the goodness na yeah. nikasema this is my vision and then my husband because of his support ndo alikuwa ananifutia hiyo mm-hmm. campaign mm-hmm. so na energy so i wish he would appreciate people more asikae ni kama he doesn't appreciate people okay mm. oh so he's not an appreciative person okay from the look of things that is something he, he can improve on okay even if he appreciates he can improve on that okay yes okay mm. So kala za chama zile t-shirt tulikuwa nazo the manini nini nini mi kwanza leo nimesema wacha ni kuonyeshe solidarity <laughs> leo nimesema ni dress eh, different unatafuta kazi ni dress official natafuta kazi and uh, unajua going forward kuna challenge yenye iko sahi mm-hmm. 8 million Kenyans hawako piga kura yeah present uh, Ruto na Rigathi must first question why 8 million people are wajapiga kura maybe uh, 8 million wenye public service commission ni advertise job facebook unanganga mkenya anamwambia ah nyinyi andikeni wenye mnataka we already know atutapata kazi so they have a kibarua kurudisha confidence ya mkenya kwa institution zao pia tunaweza lobby instead uki una register id peke pewa id KRP na voters card ndio ibc acha kusema watu hawaku register in full so the conversation is now moving forward as a country 
Si hata nilisikia wewe leo ulikuwa umesema moving on. Yeah. Sasa tunataka ku move on as a country. Yeah. Tuone venye Mkenya atacha kuteseka. Mm-hmm. Because cost of living unemployment bado tuko nayo. Mm-hmm. Irrespective ya kama ni Ruto ama Raila angeingia. Mm. 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 Julia anasema kila mtu anatafuta kazi hii town. It was her way. Uh, this two are just hilarious. <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> kama ni kuomoka na hiyo kitu haina miguu wacha ni kuwe tu hasla ama maskini e kama ikale okay mgeni ajitetea tu lakini truth be told kujipendekeza nayo alijipendekeza kwa sana chiri tai ndivyo anavyoamini okay uh, sasa hivi ningependa kupatia wasikilizaji nafasi ya kuweza ku uh, zungumza nawe moja kwa moja okay Ah uh, nambari yangu SMS iko ni 22494020445975 okay um what next for you kabla sijaanza kushika simu eh, Justina number 1 unaona pengine uki usipopata kazi katika serikali nitashikana kuna my youth tumeshikana na watu tumekuwa na wao uh-huh. and let me say humbly mimi bahati yangu ilikuwa hiyo limelight but many youth in Kenya are brilliant wako na ideas za ku drive this country forward so tutashikana nao na to lobby for one eh hii marijuana na tusemi lobbying for marijuana itakuwa lobbying for industrial hemp ndio mm-hmm. watu wacha kuona maneno ya uvutaji wa bangi tutashikana nao na to lobby that instead of yapatiwa id pekee upatiwe id voters card na KRA pin during registration tutashikana nao na tuseme that creatives industry they are here wakona equipments zao washa invest they look they are looking for opportunities so for me agenda ni huyu youth ule mama kwa nyumbani na kona talanta ama kona vision watapartnerage na government ndio aweze kujisimamia okay yes john d wa d ukiwa dandora swali lako tafadhali niita vizuri masaa umenitupa siku hizi niko poa unasemaje nasemaje yes Atakoya alikuwa anatuambia kuhusu hii manifesto yake. Mhm. Alikuwa anatuambia hata kuna wakati alisema hata asipopita kura. Mhm. Lakini anaweza atuonyesha vile anaweza pata hii hali ya fizi tuuze. Sasa anaulizaje? Anaweza bado ama sasa vision yake iliisha hivyo kutusaidia. Safi utakwenda kujibiwa. Nadhania umejibu swali la mauzo yeah. Yeah. ya fisi mm. ya yeah? yes. tutoke tuulize tupati mislet fursa mislet swali lako uh, masao yes ningependa kuuliza huyo sister yetu Christina mm-hmm. uh, kama wajakoya anaweza pata nafasi nyingine na anarudi kuania upresident na ionekane kama anashinda atashinda. Mm. Anaweza tamani kufanya na kazi mara ya pili. Swali zuri. Eh Justine yeah. unasemaje? Tunaweza fanya kazi it's just politics. Hatujako sana personally ni politics yeah. to principle. Mm. Mm. Eh juu sisi watu wa western tunampenda. Kabisa. Na atakuwa kama kingpin wetu next tunaona ni yetu tutasimamisha western juu hakuna mtu mwingine tunaona. Kabisa. Yeah. Tingisha muti. <laughs> Awachana na hiyo maneno ya pangi. Sasa sasa utamsimamia na hiyo ndio manifesto yake. <laughs> Ma, Masao. Anakuaje kingpin na utaki kusikiza. Atakuwa kingpin lakini hawachana na unajua ameishi mbali ataishi western yaona bila watoto wanateseka na hiyo pangi wazazi ndio tunateseka. Okay. Vijana wetu wamepotelea kwa pangi. Akitoa okay. tu pangi. Eh. Aleta fa mingine wetu western tunajua maneno ya kukulima. Okay. Atatusaidia. Tuko pamoja Juma Abu Bakar unasemaje? <laughs> Juma vipi masawi? Fiti sana swali lako tafadhali. Sa, Salimio mrasa kwa dhamira mm-hmm. kanimuulize. Mhm. Ah what is that take kulingana na katiba ya Kenya nasema kama chief justice ni mwanamke mm. the deputy should be a male. Today tuko na mwanamke chief justice na deputy yake ni mwanamke na tujasikia female feminist wakizungumzia hiyo. Mm. What is your take? Mm. Na, na second We are so happy women are taking leadership but ni middle class women na upper class women wanachipa leadership and does it trickle down to the common woman in Kenya how does it affect her because mashida yale na mwatili mwanamke wa kawaida nyinyi wanawake mkiwa kwa uongozi ya muongele hivi uh, grama ya chakula nini hizo ambazo na hata ma hospitali ukienda kwa hospitali za umma mwanamke anapojifungua ile madharau anafanywa na ile malase this can new viongozi wa kike mkiviongelea lakini nasema oh we need women more women in leadership Is, is, is it just to bring this flower girl sama nini? Yo ndo swali langu. Okay. 
Joseph Karauni ukiwa mjini Mombasa. Hello. Mokai. Yes. Habari ya mchana. Mzuri kabisa swali lako tafadhali. Eh Madam Justina. Niko salama. <laughs> eh nilikuwa na swali moja. Wajua kuangalia mke yani ile ile manifesto yenu. Mhm. Mm Who was behind the plan yote ya ku cuz it was so beautiful nani nani ya likutraini mpaka ukaja ukaanza kusema oh kingiza mpi cause it seems you are uh, ue ni mwanafunzi mzuri sana tri o oh, pali na pili eh. eh kwa sababu sasa umekuja kwa mm -hmm. siyasa plan yako ya 2027 utavai po kiti ote women rep ama mbunge santi ok yeah. aya sasa kuna swali la hayena pati hiyo labda tu lobby because ilikuwa good idea but tumesema professor anaweza guide forward juu ilikuwa vision yake mm -hmm. kama anaweza fanya kazi na professor tena this is politics Tume, atujakosana in person by the way atujakosana in person upande wangu mm -hmm. it was just principle yeye kusupport azimio yeah. so we can work together na hii maneno ya bangi atusemi ivutwe mam tunasema ya commercial na hiyo yote tunapanda haina ulevi alafu wamesema about women eh, in the supreme court I think we have three women. There are seven, si wako seven. But we have the chief justice tuko na Philomena Mwilu na Njoki Ndungu those are three. But out of seven, au wengine four ni men. Mm. I think bado women wako few. But katiba pia inasema two thirds, not more than two thirds gender. Mm -hmm. See women. Mm -hmm. So I don't think kwa mekeuka katiba. The common woman kuna kitu mwanaume amesema nimeniguza. Kwa hivyo wanaume wakiwa nje delivery ama maternity wanaonanga venye women na treated badly. So you know if, if, if that question ijatoka kwa mwanamke imetoka kwa mwanaume. Mm -hmm. So it goes to show that we need to improve on such kama women leaders tukae chini na nurses wetu na tujaribu kuonesha the human way. Labda if you hear a man saying that imemshika kabisa. So probably the, our nurses tunaweza ongea na wao tujue how we can make give women safe space during during delivery. About uh, tingiza mti eh, mimi si mimi nilianza hiyo slogan imekuwa since chama ilipokuwa 2012 eh, it was not me. Future plan wacha tuseme ya Mungu ni mengi. Let's see venye kutaenda 2027. Okay. Mm. Wow, I like the part, part unasema kwamba haujuti chochote. Yeah, given a chance you will do it again. Mm. It's not uh, personal, yes. ni siasa tu na mm. hakuna permanent enemies hakuna. kwa siasa. Hakuna. Okay. Mm. Uh, greatest lesson kipindi hiki ilikuwa ni gani kwako? Uh, greatest lesson is that number one the more things change the, the more they remain the same. Mm -hmm. Mimi nilikuwa na nadhani roots party the way uh, wa party leader alikuwa amekuja na new ideas mm. ange ange yield to external factors za azimio mm. that was the lesson was i was naive in my thinking nikifikiria mm -hmm. we are driving kenya forward but yeah. nimesema we do not know the external forces mm -hmm. na the ile measure ya hiyo external force mm -hmm. so the lesson is i should have an open eye ataka analala ni macho wangu nimefungua ndio naangalia what is happening okay. yes wow mm. ataka unalala macho ikuwe bado imefunguka okay yes Siasa si rahisi kwa mwanamke yoyote, umeelewa? Sijui um, ususan mume wako aliweza kukuchukulia vipi swala hili, ulipata support yake? Ya? Yeah? Nili 2017 siku nimeolewa, mm -hmm. lakini tulipatana na mume wangu kwa siasa. Nikisimama MP Mavoko alikuwa anasimama MCA ward ya yenye kwa Mavoko anaitwa Mudhwani. So he knows napenda siasa. But now as a woman, I'm very happy alikuwa ni support. Na on the ground watu wengi walimuona mume wangu. Sababu tukisimama mahali professor alikuwa anasema wapi bwana ya Justina na alikuwa na wevu watu. Mm. I mean support in terms of support your moral na hata finances pesa zake. Naweza sema pesa zake because he's the man kwa family yetu we co own stuff lakini I mean support sana. Mm -hmm. So for a woman the only thing I'd tell women ni melan. Mm -hmm. Kama hiyo opportunity ingekuja mume wangu akataa niende kichongomo alafu idea nimepatiwa accommodation na gari boma yangu ingekuwa imesambaratika. Mm -hmm. So it is good as a woman kama kama uko kifi yako make your own decision yeah. and I respect women who are medicalisha or they are single moms I respect them because even them wameshikilia tu tu viti mbili. But for the woman who's married usiende kichongomo because ukienda kichongomo hii vision ya family it's not yours alone ulishakubali kuolewa
kutoa vision ya family so discuss na bwana yako na the other people wa family uone ita, ita impact aje mm-hmm. but he has been very supportive yeah. yes okay mm. maneno yako ya mwisho tukimalizia msemaje Ka- kauli yangu kwa women mm-hmm. na youth wacha ni wa encourage nyinyi wote kuna kwanga na ile maneno tunaambua ti oh sexual favors that is why we are number three in terms of teenage pregnancy in Kenya mi naomba women to kuwa empowered serikali itakuja leta as empower women ndio hata mtoto wetu mdogo akuja kukuomba pads usikuwa una pesa ya basics anaenda na danganyo huko nje women it's about time to kuwa careful to kuwa na ile tunajitolea na moyo mkunjufu tunasema you don't need to sleep with someone for a position mm. wewe enda fanya kazi yako na Mungu atakubariki okay Ma, uh, swali kutoka kwa wasikilizaji mmoja nauliza uh, uliza Justina hii mambo ya kuhamisha capital city to Isiolo alionaje na mbona wali launch manifesto same time na Kenya kwanza chep 10 akiwa na kuru eh, ukweli kwanza hiyo ku launch manifesto unakumbuka hata president elect alitua, alisema some people are parachuted at KCC i was against it but kulikuwa maybe the, the direction ama explanation niliambiwa nikasema ni sawa for the party i'll take this bullet kwa hivyo hiyo kukuwa parachuted ndio the moment to lead a project and it worked it, it, was, it did not work in our favor kwa hivyo external factors moving the capital city to isiolo it is something else tunaweza lobby ujue kenya inatumika only 20% of it huko juu hakunanga 80% wanasema ni dry and arid so it is something we can lobby hata tukiwa inku nje tuende vinye tuta open up mpaka northeastern ndio ta terrorists wache kututesa tunashinda na, ma, na manini na army huko juu the moment power sits huko northeastern na isiolo kutakuwa na some, somewhat respect of the country so it's a good idea we can lobby for that okay mm. wow Okay. Niulize tu personal mm-hmm. question. Yes. Party leader uh, alishawahi tumia pengine ushamuona kitumia maana yake likanusha mm-hmm. lakini wewe ndio uko naye moja kwa moja. Eh, it's good to be fair. Mimi sijawahi ona akivuta na pia nimeamini venye amesema kwa social media hakulangi red meat, white meat na havuti po- E, bangi na kuji pombe so hiyo naweza sijawahi muona okay. yes so kuna zile off meetings that are not official mm-hmm. e, what are you guys doing what would you eat what would you drink e, most of the time for me I, I took this as an assignment so we were just there in terms of job but after work tukiwa you see my husband was around so me na mwangu tungeenda tuburudike so but hakuna, we'll eat. hakuna chemistry ah, it, your, your relationship was professional it was we were very professional you know in my line of work mm. if i have a course mm. we'll have to create time off the studio mm-hmm. rather yeah you okay uh, have lunch you know go places sawa mm-hmm. so that chemistry mm. ikue mm-hmm. so that tukiwa on air tuna tunachapa show vizuri because this is chemistry created outside the studios in this case You and your party leader. I think timing was also, also short. I was there for <laughs> four months. So pia time haiku allow. But I I know anakulanga kuku. <laughs> I've seen him meet chicken somewhere. So yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ati slogan yenu ilikuwa nini? Ilikuwa atingiza mti or shake the tree. <laughs> Na ilikuwa very well thought out. You know we are shaking back a status quo. Okay. Yes, it was a well thought out slogan, but it has been there since 2012. Okay. Mm. Lakini unajua inatumika vibaya? Eh, hey, unajua Kenya wanapenda ku make jokes out of everything. <laughs> I want it as opaqueness kuna t-shirt. So ni, ni tabia zetu wa Kenya. No, lakini wewe 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 tabia zetu wa Kenya. Unawajua. Hiyo ndio iko intention yetu. Okay, yes. safi. Okay. Thank you for coming. Asante sana. Have a good time. Even me, eh, you know I listen to you. Then nilikuwa na kanga kwa kama wewe nasema one day one time. So for me it has come. So I'm wow. humble. I'm humble. Wow. Thank yes. you. Yes. Thank you. You're doing good. Naambia watu ni heshima by the way. Eh? Eh, umetu eh baya wakupatia heshima. Mtakuwa running mate. Hai one day. Watu wamenichocha masaa ingia siasa ni nini? Ingia kwa hiyo kwa nini ingia? It's not easy lakini ingia. Niko na rondogo siwezi. No wezi. You know Justina sorry I'm coming back. Eh? Yes. Kwa, kwa social media vitu vingi usemwa mm. yeah? mm. kuna kitu kisha semwa kwa social media kikakuweka chini zaidi mm. yeah? you as justina kwanza kuna mtu nimeona ametukana ile awali inaanza na m inaanisha na a alafu the following day ndio nimeandikiwa nimepewa accommodation it really hurt me in fact i learned nilikuja nikona social media 
mtu ukiblock like matakarua you block watu sana i've seen people taking screenshots ni vitu kana matakarua ame ni block so ile ile wa Kenya utafuta ubabe na different ways yeah. so mtu anatafuta ubabe na kukutusi so badala umuye na roho wacha tu aongee uko mwachie tu nafasi apate ubabe wake okay. but i rarely read comments because in effect unaweza kwa if uhuru kenyata the president left twitter and social media because of kenyans who am i Mimi mtu mdogo sana so afadhali yeah. msisome ni si humo. Yeah. Mm. Okay so usomagi. I, I don't. Yeye okay. mimi saidia because like mtu achukue screenshot aone amenishinda nimemblock. Okay. So acha tukanane tu hapo. So kisha tweet umetoka umeenda. Acha siangalie yangi. Ni acha comments. Tu, ani tumie screenshot WhatsApp ati nimetukana tunakosananga vibaya sana. You don't do those things. I, I don't read okay. because they can mtu anatafuta ubabe and they do it so well. So why should I get depressed that mtu anatafuta ubabe? Sasa because I, I know you are a very ambitious uh, woman utakwaje mm. rais because you have to also listen to what your you know people are saying on the ground and and, uh, yeah, and social media right now ndicho kitu kinachotumika zaidi na sana but let me ask you yeah. mtu akisema hiyo jina inaanza na m inaisha na e how is it adding value hapo dali ya kukosoe on top you know in terms of ideology ama umefa but hiyo ya ma adaimiona ame amejuaje ni kwa hivyo so mimi naomba wakenya if you're criticizing then stick to the stick to the facts wacha kuleta ma issues zingine za nyaziadi bali mm. sema kuna pesa inatumika inatumika vibaya talk about things that are about fun. issues issues yeah. for this country kama wewe kabisa you're patriotic talk about issues that are going to build the country and criticize that baby hakuna hakuna shida ku criticize but abusing people no that okay. one it has idea ta okay. itafanya tu mtu atoroke social media akose kuaskiza okay mm. unarudisha wazazi kanisani lini wazazi wangu watarudi after swearing in <laughs> ndio watarudi kanisa at least that time wanasema anga in bible they say if there is a season for everything yeah. so hiyo season itakuimeisha na watarudi kanisa okay yes okay wewe na mzee unaenda kanisani eh tuna kanisa ya wakikuyu okay <laughs> Yes. How do you balance by there being a mother as well and then pay of course lazima ukwe kwa rallies kuzungumza kila siku. I think having a reliable house manager. Hiyo imenisaidia sana because naona nikimwacha na mtoto na ni mdogo. Na ni ako 3 years. Yeah. Uh, by the my house house manager mimi support sana sana sana. And that is why mimi naona watu wanasema ati house manager. Mimi sitaki kuongea wa wangu because maneno ya wangu because she has really supported me. Yeah. So having a, a house manager is supporting you and then having my husband around at least siko nile wali ati nimechelewa mahali niaza kupiga simu wao tumechelewa. You know these things happen. Yeah. So having him on the ground and kuanelewa things change yeah. roots change times change so you yeah. don't miss idea okay mm. tumemaliza na officially we are done you bye <laughs>